Hi, it's Drew at Finale Fireworks. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to share a firing module across multiple positions in Finale 3D. Let's do it. All right, so I have a new blank show here and I have nine firing positions. I'm gonna go ahead and add an effect to all the firing positions at the same time. So I'll click all positions and I'll just go ahead and add a red strobe pot. There we go. So this is our little scene here and we'll say that's our show. So we have nine strobe pots, one in each position, all being ignited by, at the uh, same time by the firing system. So what I'd like to do is have one module control all of these positions. So first we'll go by to addressing and address show, and we'll just stick with the defaults so we have something to compare to as we improve things. Click enter to address and click okay. Now we can look at our script to see the results. So here in the rail column, we see the module numbers, one through nine, and we see the pin number one. So we did not get the desired result because we've used nine modules, module one on position one, module two on position two, et cetera. Remember, what I'd like to do is share one module across all of these positions. So how can we do that? We'll go back, readdress the show, and we'll change one setting. Everything looks good in sections one and two, but in section three, We'll look at the first line, which says each module is restricted to a single section and position. Well, I don't want to restrict a module to a position, because if I restrict a module to a single position, then I can't share the module across all my positions. So all I have to do is remove this. Click Enter. Let's take a look. All right. Now if I look in my script, I can see that module one is being used for all nine items. I can see that here by the module number in the rail column. And what I do see is that I'm using nine different pins. So even though these items are being ignited at the same time, they're using different pins. To conserve even more firing system, I could have the addressing algorithm assign all of these items to the same pin. Let's do it once more. Addressing, address show, and here I'll change the max number of e-matches per pin. I can make this anything I want, but just be careful to make it a number that's supported by the hardware of your firing system. So in this case, I'll just make it nine because I know that the Cobra system can fire nine e-matches at the same time on the same pin. So I'll click enter and we'll see the result. Okay, now instead of using nine modules, we're not only just using one module, but we're only using one module and one pin for all of our effects in the scene, which is just this single set of strobe pots here. So it's just that simple. Now, let's build up the example a little bit more. And to do that, we'll add a few firing positions. So I'll go ahead and add multiple positions, and I'll add three. And let's go ahead, switch to the top view, and then I'll drag these to the back. These will be for my shells. So I'll go ahead and make one adjustment, edit the position properties. And since I'm using the Cobra system, I don't want to use module 00, which is a common request. So I'll enter a start module of 01. Now, none of the positions here will use module 0. OK, now that we have our positions in, we'll just go ahead and add a shell effect. So I'll switch back to the front view and select one of my three inch shells. I'm going to go ahead and put these at the exact same time as the strobe pots so we can see what happens when we do. So I've just copied and pasted that. Uh, I'll copy and paste this event time, and then we'll get those exactly at the same time. So if we go ahead and address, we'll see what happens. So I'll go to addressing, address show, and just run it again. OK, so now we have module one being used for everything in the show, and we're using pin one for our nine strobe pots and pin two for our three shells. The reason we're sharing the module across all the positions is because that's exactly what we asked the addressing algorithm to do. We said, do not limit the sharing of the module. Do not restrict a module to a position. We're using pin one for the strobe pots and pin two for the shells because we set the max number of e-matches per pin to nine. If we were to change the max number of e-matches per pin to 12, then the entire show would use one module and one pin. Now, if we change the launch time 
by dragging the event on the timeline. So now we're going to have a different ignition time or launch time or event time as it's called here in the script window. If we address the show one more time, we will see that we will go back to using two pins because one pin can only fire at one time. This is a different time and therefore requires a different pin. Now, suppose that we don't want to share one module across our entire shoot site because these shell positions might be much too far away from our frontage of strobe pots here. And so what we would like to do is have a different module at position 10, a different module 11, and a different module 12. So that's where sections come in. So in order to make this work, we need to carve our show into sections. And a section is just a group of firing positions that can share modules. It's really easy to do. I'll just select the group of positions that I want to be in a section. I can right click on any of the positions now that they're selected, choose edit position properties, and then just enter the section. I'll enter A. I can enter anything I want, but for this example, I'll just use letters. So A is my first section. I'll put position 10 into its own section because I want it to have its own module. Section B. Same thing for position 11. Put this in section C. And then finally, position 12. I'll put this in section D. Okay. Now that we've specified all of our sections, we can go ahead and address. But before we do, I'd like to show you that there's a couple other ways that you can look at your sections. One is by going to the window menu and opening the positions window. Here you can see your positions in a tabular format. So this information here correlates to, it's just another way to look at the position properties information. So you can see I have a start module of 0, 01 for all of my positions so that I don't use module 00, 00 for Cobra. And then I have sections defined section A for my first nine positions, which are my strobes in my front, one module, oh, excuse me, one position in section B, one position in section C, and one position in section D. Another way to look at your sections is go to the window menu and either use the racks preset or open the racks window. I'll use the racks preset. And here you can see if you have the pro version of Finale 3D, an overhead view of your shoot site showing blue outlines representing with letters or with whatever designators you use to represent your section. So here you can see section A, our fronts, section B, our uh, left shell position, section C, my middle shell position, and section D, my right shell position. Again, this is a pro feature, so if you have the hobbyist version of Finale, you won't see this here. Let's go ahead and switch back to preset two, and then let's go ahead and address our show. Take stock first, though, that we are using only one module right now for our entire shoot site, and we're using just two pins on that module. So we should expect to see a different result now when we go to addressing, address show, and then we'll go ahead, we'll leave this at 12. We'll, we won't change anything here. We'll just click enter to address. And there we go. Now we're using one module across our fronts, just like we want. We're using module two for our left shell position, module three for our middle shell position, and module four for our right shell position. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So you can continue to expand and grow your show by adding positions, defining the sections, adding more effects, and the addressing algorithm will take care of the rest for you. That's it for this video on sharing modules across firing positions. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all the other great videos on our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to be notified about new videos as they come out, don't forget to subscribe.